I've asked permission to uh, speak uh, this foreign language uh, this morning. Uh, I was gifted spiritually with uh, the language that the Creator gave us, and it is my still my first language. But I, through uh, school, I managed to learn uh, this language somewhat. Uh, I haven't uh, learned all there is to know about this language, but I can kind of get by. Uh, I managed to graduate through grade school, high school. I managed to get through the University of Minnesota. I managed to get a master's degree out of uh, California Western. I'm presently a PhD candidate, so I'm still working on the English <laughs> language. <laughs> I've been in uh, education for uh, 33 years, but part of my uh, part of my life was uh, serving in the uh, in the United States Army. Uh, I used to jump out of airplanes uh, with a parachute. I never jumped out of airplanes without one. <laughs> <laughs> but the reason that I'm saying that today is that uh, there are a lot of men and women in the uh, Native community that have served, that have served this country. And if, if you look at the uh, statistics of uh, service to the country, uh, you'll, you may be surprised to find out that Native men and women serve in the greatest proportion to their population in the armed forces of every, of every branch of service. Uh, that's paying taxes. That's being uh, uh, allegiance to your country. That's loving your country. And that's serving the people. So uh, that's the only reason I'm wearing this today. Uh, Native people, by, by nature, do not like to brag. We don't like to uh, uh, call ourselves Bird Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> when I walked into a, a meeting downtown at the, with the uh, city council about a year ago, there were some ladies in the audience that said, that's Bird Reynolds, that's Bird Reynolds. <laughs> And uh, one, of, one of the ladies said, what happened to his hair? <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't wear it today. <laughs> but uh, I'm here to talk about, uh, about education. Education is very, very important. I, uh, as I said, I've been in education for 33 years. Coming to uh, Canada, I've uh, served communities as a, as a principal as a superintendent of schools. I served my own community as superintendent of schools for uh, many years. So I, I want to talk about education from this standpoint, that uh, I recognize there's a lot of gaps in education and across the board in Native kids and in non-Native kids. One of, the, one of the big gaps that I notice in education here in Canada is that there's not enough, there's not enough education about how our government works. I, I, I did a uh, survey and a test in, our, in my classes this past winter and uh, there was not one student uh, in my one class of 64, there was not one student that had, had one iota of knowledge of how tribal government works and likewise how does Canadian government work? And I began to ask questions. What happened to civics? In the States, when I went, uh, when I went to grade school, I encountered civics in grade eight. And civics uh, kept on as being one of the primary disciplines in, uh, 
in uh, high school all the way through high school. Uh, yet here in Canada, and I, I'd imagine it's the same in the States uh, even today, there, there's an absence. There's an absence about how our government works. And if, if, we had, uh, if we had a good thorough education about how our governments work, I believe that uh, we would have the kind of uh, participation that the leaders have been talking about. What the leaders have been saying to you is that uh, this government is imposing their will upon the people. That's what they are saying. They've had no consultation. The government did not come to the people and say, here is, uh, here is a proposal to the people. When, when, it's, when it's like that, the government dictates what they're going to do. That's no longer government by and for the people. That's a dictatorship. And what we're saying here is that it took us a long time. It took us a long time to become citizens of this country. Look at your history books. Look at your history books and see what government has done. When did women achieve the right to vote here in Canada? Anybody know? When? When did women receive, get the right to vote? Here is your survey, right here. When do you think Indian people achieved citizenship in Canada? Does anybody know? You're not a student. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I'm showing you the gaps in education. That should be primary education. The sign says excellence in education. Where is the education about Native people and their rights? Where is the education about the Indian Act? One of the, uh, one of the greatest tests that we ran uh, in, at the university this last, this last year was we did a study of the Indian Act. How many of you know anything about the Indian Act? There is your excellence in education. Read one, one time, ask your teacher, can you get us a topic called the Indian Act? And then read it. And you'll see what, what kind of democracy we have on behalf of Native people. And, uh, and you hear, maybe you hear your parents and your neighbors saying that Indian people don't pay taxes. Has anybody heard that? Mm -hmm. Quit lying, I know you heard it. <laughs> <laughs> only one person, only you have heard that we don't pay taxes. That can't be so. Mr. Superintendent, have you heard that we don't pay taxes? Uh, there is always a rumor around society. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, is a rumor too? <laughs> Here's a, 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 this is not a magic box. It's uh, my tax receipts. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to look at them. Yeah, this is my tax receipts from all the stores that I shop here in Canada. This is for the month of April and May. May is not over with yet. By, by the end of May, this should be full. <laughs> and I'm saying to you, when somebody says to you, uh, we don't pay taxes here, I, I've seen the receipts. <laughs> and I'm going to say to this leadership here, all of you, all of you as leaders should be collecting your taxes so that when we have these public forums, we can show them the receipts. And if you don't think we pay taxes, look at the cars we drive. All the cars we drive have license plates, right? If they don't have a license plate on, they don't drive. License plates are taxes. You got it? License plates are taxes. So don't be fooled. Mm -hmm. Don't be lied to. Because that, that is what's happening. When people say to you, those, those people don't like to work, drive through the reserve. Drive through the reserve and take pictures. And show me, show me the, uh, auto, uh, the auto plants. Show me the foundries. Show me the factories where Indian people could work. Show them to me. 
Go along the river there and see how many marinas there are on the reserve. Show me how many employment places there are to work on the reserve. And then come back. And then say, people, you know why people don't work on the reserve? Because there ain't no place to work on the reserve. Mm -hmm. Seek the truth. Ask for the truth. Don't be afraid to ask for the truth. Seek the truth. That's quality education. Miigwech.